Hello students. Today we are going to study a very important topic that is the making of a scientist. The story is about a scientist named Richard H. Ebright. In this story, we will find the description how he became a scientist. Ebright's habits and achievement. Ebright was the only child of his parents. They lived in Pennsylvania. He was everything for her mother after his father's death. He didn't like to play football or baseball, but he collected things like coins, fossils, rocks, and he also collected butterflies. At the age of 22, he discovered how cells work. It was his first achievement and it started with butterflies. Ebright's mother, as his inspiration, Ebright's mother loved him very much. She always encouraged him for his habits and activities. She took him on trips. She also bought him telescopes, microscopes and cameras. She was his best friend. In second grade, he collected all 25 species of butterfly found around his hometown. His mother bought him a book named The Travels of Monarch Ten. That book told him how the monarch butterflies migrate to South Central America. At the end of the book, the readers were asked to tag butterflies for the research. It was being done by Dr. Frederick of Toronto University, Canada. Abright started tagging monarch butterflies, chasing them one by one, wouldn't enable him to catch many, so Abright started to catch a female monarch and take their eggs. It was done in the basement. When they became adult, he would tag the butterfly wings and let them go. When he was in 7th grade, he entered a county science fair. There he showed slides of frog tissues, but he lost. Now he decided to do real experiments and his subject was insect worm. A bright research on monarch caterpillars. When a bright was in 8th grade, he tried to find the cause of a viral disease. It killed all monarch caterpillars. He thought the disease might be carried by a beetle. So he raised caterpillars in, pre in the presence of beetles, but he could not find the result. Although his trial of this experiment won him a prize. Ebright's next project on Viceroy Butterflies. Now Ebright started to work on a project that Viceroy butterflies copy monarchs. The theory was that Viceroy's copy monarch because birds don't like to eat monarchs. Although Viceroy tastes good to birds, he found that a starling would eat all the monarchs. Viceroy butterflies copy monarch butterflies to save themselves as the other birds, other butterflies were tasty. This project got first prize in zoology division and got third prize overall in the county science fair. Ebright research on Harmon. In the second year of his high school, Richard began to search an unknown Harmon in the gold spot of the butterflies. 
the gold spots were not ornamental he proved that the cells of a monarch would develop into a butterfly wing only if they were head fed with the hormone from the gold spots this project won the first prize for zoology in international fair a bright's highest honor and advantages of his theory he graduated from harvard with highest honors stood second in the class of 1510 students became a graduate researcher at harvard medical college began experimenting to test his theory about cell life if theory was correct it would prove a big step towards understanding life process it would be now for preventing type of new for preventing type of cancers and other diseases he was good at debating public speaking and a great canoeist he never used to win for the sake of winning or for prizes but he wanted to be the best at whatever he used to do conclusion of the making of a scientist this story teaches us that perseverance dedication hard work any dream to any dream is achievable what are the ingredients to make a good scientist intelligent brain curiosity and desire to win and complete so this is the message that we get from a bright's life i hope you have enjoyed the lesson please follow and subscribe the channel and press the like button thank you have a nice day